100 facts about the 100 Johto Pokemon. Oh, and by the way, I heard it was impossible to click the like button and the subscribe button at the same time, so if you want to prove that myth wrong, try it out. It's free and helps out the channel a ton. And with that said, here we go. Chikorita. For some reason, Chikorita is the only starter Pokemon that isn't able to participate in the Game Corner minigame Pokemon Jump, even though Pokemon like Metapod and Cascoon can. Bayleaf. Bayleaf originally had a completely different design during the beta stages of Pokemon Gold and Silver, and this is where Meganium gets its antennas from. Meganium. Meganium and its pre-evolutions are the only original Generation 2 starter Pokemon, since both the Cyndaquil and Totodile lines were the replacements of the Hanaguma and Karusu lines. Cyndaquil. Cyndaquil initially has spikes instead of flames on its back, and supposedly it wasn't meant to be a starter Pokemon or even a fire type. Quilava. Ash's Quilava as a Cyndaquil took the longest to evolve out of any Pokemon in the anime, having been a Cyndaquil for 507 episodes, which was longer than a decade. Typhlosion. According to his Pokemon Silver Pokedex entry, Typhlosion has a secret devastating move that involves rubbing his blazing fur together to create huge explosions. Totodile. Totodile is the best starter to use for Pokemon Gold and Silver speedrunning. Its early access to rage makes battling tough opponents easy. Croknaw. Croknaw's head spikes and chest patterns seem to be based on the wild hair and animal skin cloth worn by a caveman. Feraligator. There is a lightning type Feraligator card in the Pokemon TCG. And the reason why it's lightning type is because it was exposed to electromagnetic waves that were produced by scientists in the Holon region. Sentret. In the Pokemon anime, Chaz's Sentret is the one who taught Ash's Pikachu Iron Tail. Ferret. Ferret is based on a ferret, and I freaking love ferrets and ferrets. Hutu. In a Nintendo Power interview, Ken Sugimari stated that Hutu was his favorite Pokemon, since he had a pet bird as a child that would stand on one foot. Noctile. As shown in the Pokemon anime, Noctile can grow a small beard in their elderly stages. Ladybug. Ladybug and its evolution Lydian couldn't learn any bug type moves by level up or TM until generation 4, with the first bug type move being Silverwind. Lydian. There are a lot of hints that Lydian might be inspired by a gray alien, which might explain why they couldn't learn bug type moves in the early generations. Maybe Lydian is an alien in disguise. Spinarak. Spinarak was originally purple in Pokemon Gold and Silver, but then was changed to green in Pokemon Crystal. Also, its shiny colors were changed as well. In Generation 3 and Onward, its shiny form became bluish gray instead of pink. Ariados. For some reason, Ariados and its pre evolution Spinarak got their own signature move in Generation 7, with the move being Toxic Thread. Crobat. Even though Cyrus states in Pokemon Diamond and Pearl that he doesn't befriend his Pokemon, his Golbat somehow evolves into a Crobat later in the game, which is strange because Crobat only evolves through friendship. Chinchou. As seen in the Pokemon anime, Chinchou can actually walk on land, but interestingly enough, in the games, it can only be found in water and doesn't have a footprint. Lantern. Lantern's Chinese name literally translates to Lamp Freak. Pichu. Pichu was intentionally made as a weak character in Super Smash Bros. Melee. Even in his trophy details, it mentions that it's the top of the class in weakness. Cleffa. In Pokemon Stadium 2, when Cleffa comes out of his Pokeball, it winks and sticks out his tongue at the opponent. Igglybuff. According to his Pokemon Diamond Pokedex entry, when Igglybuff starts bouncing, it becomes impossible to stop. Tokepi. Even though Tokepi is known to share happiness and bring joy to kind-hearted people around it, it has been shown in the anime that evil Tokepis exist that bring devastation to those around it. Tokatik. In Pokemon Coliseum, Shadow Tokatik can only be obtained if the player has snagged 47 out of the 48 available Shadow Pokemon in the game, and the trainer that has it is an imposter that disguises himself as Wes, the main character. Natsu. Despite Natsu being a bird Pokemon that is also a flying type, it is unable to fly. To compensate, it jumps and hops around to get to places. Zatu. Zatu, as well as a number of other Pokemon, were part of a cancelled Groundbreakers trading figure game, with Zatu being the 37th figure of the collection. Marie. You can actually buy a life-size Marie plush for $500. Flaffy. Flaffy's name has two A's, probably because sheeps go ba, and also might be a reference to AA batteries, since Flaffy's an electric type. Ampharos. Originally, Ampharos was planned to be an electric dragon type, but was later changed to just an electric type. This probably explains why its mega evolution is a dragon type, as well as why Ampharos learns Dragon Pulse at level 65. Blossom. Blossom is shorter than Oddish, with Oddish being 0.5 meters and Blossom being 0.4 meters. Meryl. The reason why Meryl was famously known as Pika Blue is mostly due to the Pokemon in the first movie, Trading Cards. On the back text of these special cards, Meryl was referred to as Pika Blue. Azumeryl. In the Magical Pokemon Journeys manga, there's an Azumeryl known as Madame Azumeryl, who is a ninja master and teaches ninja arts. Pseudo Wudo. Pseudo Wudo's name is a play on the words Pseudo Wood, since it's a rock type that disguises itself as a tree. Politoed. 
Polytoad has gender differences, with the male having larger cheeks than their female counterparts. Hopip. The reason why Hopip can learn Splash is because Splash in Japanese means hop. Skiploom. Ephraim Skiploom named Skippy won the 45th annual grass tournament in the Pokemon anime. Jumpluff. Jumpluff's shiny form in Pokemon Silver is probably one of the best looking shinies ever. Apom. In Detective Pikachu, it is theorized that the R substance was actually the Berserk gene. This would explain why the Apom in the movie were acting crazy, because the Berserk gene is found near Mewtwo's cave and also makes the Pokemon more powerful while causing confusion. Sunkern. Even though Sunkern has the lowest base stat total of all Pokemon, excluding Wishiwashi's solo form, it is one of five Pokemon that can have a maximum stat in the Pokeathlon, with the others being Ditto, Giratina, Warturtle, and Arceus. Sunflora. Sunflora is Meow's most frequently used Pokemon disguise in the anime, having been used seven times so far. Yanma. Yanma weighs 83.8 pounds, making it a pretty gigantic bug. Wooper. Even though Wooper doesn't have arms or hands, it can learn Dynamic Punch, Power Up Punch, and Ice Punch. Quagsire. This is what Quagsire's victory scream sounds like. Espeon. The Gold Star Espeon card is one of the rarest and most expensive Pokemon cards around, with a price point of $30,000. Umbreon. In the Pokemon of the Year poll held by the Pokemon Company in 2020, Umbreon was voted as both the most popular Generation 2 Pokemon and the fifth most popular Pokemon overall. Murkrow. Murkrows are known for fighting Meowths and Gabites for their treasure stashes, since Murkrows love sparkly objects. Slowking. According to his Pokemon Crystal Pokedex entry, every time Slowking yawns, Shelter injects more poison into it, making it more intelligent. Mistrevious. This Mistrevious Pokemon card is hilarious. Unknown. The only trainers that I know of that have an unknown in their party are the Pokefans Kimberly and Francisco in Pokemon Emerald, which whom can be found at the Trainer Hill facility with the e-reader in the Japanese version of the game. Wobbuffet. In the Pokemon anime, Jesse's Wobbuffet has been around for over 20 years, cameloing in almost 1,000 episodes. Girafferig. Girafferig originally had a pre-evolution known as Twins, but Twins was later reworked to become Wobbuffet. Pineco. Just like Burmy and Warbadam, Pineco and its evolution are known as the Bagworm Pokemon, which might mean that Pineco is just a bug disguising itself with tree bark around it, and its Ultra Moon Pokedex entry supports this theory because it states that Pineco sticks tree bark on itself with saliva. Fortress. According to its Pokemon Gold Pokedex entry, what lurks inside the armor of Fortress is a total mystery, which supports the Bagworm theory stated with this pre-evolution Pineco. Dunsparce. A horn jeweled Dunsparce actually exists, but the only game that it's possible in is Pokemon Gold, Silver, and Crystal. It was given out as an event Pokemon at the New York Pokemon Center. Gligar. After defeating the rival in Pokemon Stadium 2, Round 2, the players rewarded with an Earthquake in Gligar, which was really valuable because Gligar in Generation 2 couldn't learn Earthquake by level up or TM. Steelix. Steelix is fought in the Great War of Kalos that took place over 3,000 years ago. Snubble. Snubble in the early games has the most dog-like learn set of any Pokemon that I've seen. Gramble. Gramble was the first Pokemon to evolve in Pokemon Misty Dungeon using the Light Cave. Quillfish. Quillfish originally had an evolution known as Shiburafugu, but it was later scrapped for the final game. Scizor. Scizor is part of the original 39 Generation 2 Pokemon that were planned to be in Pokemon Red and Blue, with Scizor having the earliest index number of them all. Shuckle. In the Generation 2 games, Shuckle has a 1 in 16 chance of turning his held berry into berry juice after each Pokemon battle. Heracross. Ash's Heracross loves sapping Bulbasaur's bulb due to his sweet nectar. Sneasel. In Pokemon Gold, Silver, and Crystal, if you breed two Sneasels that no beat up in the third move slot, you can actually glitch in a Celebi by using their egg. Teddy Ursa. Teddy Ursa is the only non Generation 1 Pokemon that got a unique sprite in Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green. Ursaring. Ursaring and its pre evolution Teddy Ursa draw inspiration from the two constellations called Ursa Minor and Ursa Major, which means Little Bear and Great Bear in Latin. Even in the ending of the six Pokemon movies, show these constellations with the Pokemon. Slugma. According to its Pokemon Gold Pokedex entry, Slugma has to keep moving because if it stops, its mag will cool down and harden. But the thing is, Slugma learns harden via level up, so does it stop moving for that? I'm not sure. Macargo. Macargo's shining form was originally blue, but then was changed to pink in Generation 3. Swinub. Swinub and its evolution are currently the only ice ground type Pokemon that exists, and due to their typing, they are also the only Pokemon that are immune to all weather effects. Pillow Swine. In Pokemon X and Y and onward, you can see Pillow Swine's eyes when it enters into battle with its animation. Corsola. For some odd reason, Corsola and Marini can breed, which is weird because according to Corsola's Pokemon Moon Pokedex entry, Marini hunts Corsola as food. Remoraid. 
Rimmeraid was shaped as a revolver in its beta design, which explains why it evolved into Octirly, because Octirly was designed as a weapon as well, resembling a tank. Octirly. Octirly's hit animation in Pokemon Coliseum looks pretty funny. Delibird. In the Pokemon Adventures manga, the masked man's Delibird was so strong that it single-handedly took down the legendary bird Pokemon Ho-Oh to help capture it, even at a tight disadvantage. Mantine. Mantine has not been seen with a Rimmeraid attached to his fin since Generation 4. This may be due to the fact that the Rimmeraid needed for Mantine to evolve doesn't disappear. Skarmory. Skarmory's feathers are thin and sharp, and according to his Pokemon Sun Pokedex entry, warriors from a long time ago used them as swords. Houndour. Despite Houndour being a Generation 2 Pokemon, it was actually native to the Kanto region in Pokemon Gold, Silver, and Crystal, being found in Route 7 between Celadon City and Saffron City. This was also true for Murkrow and Slugma. Houndoom. According to his Pokemon Gold Pokedex entry, if you're burned by the flames of a Houndoom, the pain will never go away. Kingdra. Kingdra originally had arms in his beta design. Fampy. Fampy is Ash's first Pokemon that hatched from an egg. Donphan. Donphan appeared in the very first Pokemon movie, which was released over a year before Pokemon Gold and Silver came out. Porygon 2. Porygon 2 is probably the only Pokemon that hasn't gotten a voice in the Pokemon anime. Stantler. According to his Pokedex entry from the Pokemon anime, Stantler's curved horns simply bend the flow of air around them, which creates a mysterious warp in reality. Smurgle. In Pokemon Emerald at the Battle Frontier, there is a cave known as the Artisan Cave that has nothing but Smurgles inside of it. Tyrogue. According to his Pokemon Crystal Pokedex entry, Tyrogue will challenge anyone to a fight, which explains why it will immediately run at you in Pokemon Sword and Shield. Hitmontop. Hitmontop can learn more priority moves than any other Pokemon, with 14 increased priority moves and 2 decreased priority moves. Smoochum. This is what a Smoochum egg looks like. Elekid. According to his Pokemon Sun Pokedex entry, Electrical Alice serve as Elekid's baby bottles. Magpie. Magpie's Pokemon Crystal Sprite animation spits out a small ember. Miltank. Miltank's signature move, Miltrank, can be used outside of battle, but when it's used on other Pokemon, it increases Miltank's HP. Blizzy. It is actually possible to gain 87 levels in one battle by defeating a level 100 Blizzy. The Pokemon would have to be traded at level 1 while holding a lucky egg. Raikou. The purple mane on Raikou's back are actually rain clouds, and according to his Pokemon Gold Pokedex entry, these clouds allow it to fire thunderbolts at will. Entei. There should be about 1500 Entei's that exist in the world, because it is said in his Pokemon Silver Pokedex entry that an Entei is born every time a new volcano appears. Suicune. It is said that Suicune is the closest of the legendary bees to Ho-Oh, and also has some kind of connection with Unknown, although there really isn't much more information on this. Larvitar. Even though Larvitar weighs over 150 pounds, I just seen holding it like it's nothing in the Pokemon anime. Pupitar. Pupitar moves around by using its farts. I'm serious, in his Pokemon Ruby Pokedex entry, it states that it creates gas inside its body to forcefully propel itself like a jet. Tyranitar. Originally, Tyranitar wasn't supposed to be a Pokemon. It was just a monster drawn by Kisugamori for the cover for his fan magazine called Game Freak. Lugia. In Pokemon Stadium 2, Lugia's shining form is teal instead of pink. Ho-Oh. The reason why Ho-Oh flew over Ash in the first episode of the Pokemon anime is because it reveals itself before pure-hearted trainers, hinting that Ash is a pure-hearted person. And finally, Celebi. In Super Smash Bros. Melee, if you unlock all 25 characters in 29 stages, beat all 51 events, and achieve 5,000 KOs, there will be a 1 in 251 chance of a Celebi appearing inside of a Pokeball. And there you go, 100 facts about the 100 Johto Pokemon. And if you want to help out with the next video for this series, leave a comment down below about the 135 Hoenn Pokemon. The more obscure the fact is, the better. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to support me on Patreon, you can click on the button right here. I spend days, if not weeks, on these videos, and the algorithm doesn't really favor that, so it helps me out a ton. Also, if you want to see more videos, be sure to click right here. I have a lot of Pokemon videos that you can binge watch, so have at it. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see y'all in the next one. See ya!